Hey everyone, in this video what I'm going to show you is the link sharing schedule feature with Sidekick AI. So the what you have to do is go up here, copy your scheduling link, go ahead and paste that anywhere you want to paste that. And basically what this allows is somebody to chat with your Sidekick and basically set up a time to meet. So for time's sake, I actually already did this for us so I can show you how that works from a Sidekick AI user standpoint. So I already filled this information out from a person who would be requesting your time. And see, we have Tuesday, we have August uh, 4th at 9 a.m. What happens is you're gonna share this link to somebody, they're gonna fill it out. Um, for, the, for this example, we can see here that Jim Bob requested time with me. Here in my Sidekick dashboard, we can see that this meeting comes up uh, as pending. We see the attendees, this is the, the requester, Jim Bob. And what's gonna happen is Jim Bob is basically going to request this time. It's going to send to me uh, as pending. And then Jim Bob is actually gonna get a confirmation email to, just to make sure that he wants to confirm uh, this request. So what's gonna happen is basically he's going to confirm all right, so his attendance has been confirmed. Uh, and then from there, Sidekick is going to let him know also via email that, hey, we confirmed your attendance. And then we could see here that this meeting was moved to confirmed. And if you go to your recent activity, you can also see that this meeting was confirmed by this person as well. So you can kind of track that. Um, another thing that's going to happen is this is actually going to go on your calendar immediately and this should also be on his calendar as well. So I just want to show that for you. So that's for uh, tomorrow at, um, that's tomorrow at 9. So here this was added to my Sidekick AI calendar. Here we can see that this was also added to uh, Jim Bob's calendar as well. So that's the link share feature, pretty simple to use. Uh, another thing that I wanna cover really quick, if you go into settings and preferences, you can actually turn on approval required. So if you turn this on and your approval is required, if somebody goes through this process and they request a meeting with you, what's going to happen is you will get an action item and you have to say yes or no that you approve that meeting. The reason for this is we wanna give our users a little more control. Also, let's say for example, you copy this scheduling link and let's say you put this in your footer somewhere and somebody randomly clicks on this you know, next week, next month, and you just wanna make sure this doesn't just go to your calendar. You wanna be sure that you, uh, you get an action item so you know somebody's requesting your time. So uh, it's pretty simple. If you guys have any questions, just email support at sidekickai.com. Be happy to give you another demo or kind of walk you through that. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them below in the comments and we look forward to getting some more feedback.